Hi, welcome to Photography Bit. My name is Chris Ostrotu, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at Aperture. So, what is Aperture? Aperture is the quantity of light traveling through your lens into your camera and has to pass through something called the diaphragm which looks something similar to the iris of your eye and this uh, diaphragm opens and closes so the narrower it is the less light is traveling uh, to your camera and the wider it is the more light is traveling to your camera. F-stop is the focal length divided by the aperture opening of the lens. You can control the size of your aperture by changing the f-stop number in your camera. This can be done by moving the command dial back and forth. Now, some cameras have two command dials, so uh, usually the, the more higher end DSLRs, so one would be to change the shutter speed and the other one to change the aperture. But uh, if you have uh, maybe a a more budget DSLR, you have to press a button and you only have one command dial, so pressing the button will change the aperture. So therefore, pressing the button, and if you look at the screen or even in the viewfinder, you can see that this number gets higher or lower. Now this is where things get a little bit confusing. The smaller the F number is, the wider the aperture will be in your lens and therefore the more light will be coming into your camera through the lens. Now, the larger the F number is, the narrower the aperture will be, therefore less light will be coming into your camera. So think about your F number as small number, more light, large number, less light. This value is usually measured in stops. The numbers that are shown now on the screen are the full stops of aperture that you should kind of memorize. So what this basically means is between one number and the other, double the amount of light is being let in. So the difference between going from f2.8 to f2 will be one full stop and that will also mean twice as much light is being allowed into your lens. Of course, if you look at your DSLR, most are set up to, to be measured in, uh, in thirds. So every time you click on the command dial left or right three times, that's either a full stop of light up or down. So that means one, two, three clicks is equal to double the amount of light either let in or not let in to the lens. Stops become a little bit more important later on when we have a look at the exposure triangle. Another thing about lenses, it's important to know that we have different type of lenses and I don't just mean the focal length. Also uh, the aperture associated with that lens varies. All prime lenses have a fixed focal length and a fixed aperture. This is the, the minimum aperture value that the lens has. So therefore, the most amount of light that it will allow into the camera. The Nikkor 50mm 1.8, that f1.8 tells you that the minimum aperture is 1.8. Therefore, it's wider than a lens which has an, a, a minimum aperture of 4. Now, with regards to zoom lenses, you have two types. Uh, you have the zoom lenses with a fixed aperture. For example, the 24 with 70 the Nikkor has a, a minimum aperture of 2.8. It's regarded a, a very fast lens. Therefore, the from the focal length of 24 all the way to 70, it will keep its minimum aperture at 2.8. But then you have other lenses which have a, a range between, say for example, 3.5 to 5.6. Uh, 
And what this means is as you zoom in, say from 18 millimeters to 55 millimeters, it will change your minimum aperture. So it will start at a minimum aperture of 3.5 and go all the way to 5.6. And why is this important? And why is the lens cheaper? Because at the maximum focal length, so at 50 millimeters, so it zoomed in its, its, its maximum ability, you, your minimum aperture is 5.6 and therefore you have uh, less possibility to allow more light into the lens. That's why some of the, the more expensive lens have a fixed aperture range generally of 2.8 and that goes throughout the range. Always bear that in mind when you're zooming in that you, you're losing uh, usually one or two stops worth of light. So why is aperture so important? Well, uh, it affects something called the depth of field. And the best way to describe depth of field is the area that's allowed to be focused. And it's basically the distance between the nearest and the furthest object in the scene that appears sharp. So as you can see, at a lower aperture, you can see what now is displayed in focus and the rest it seems, well, is out of focus. Whereas if I increase the F to a higher number, say 11 or even higher than that, more of the picture suddenly comes into focus. And why is this important? Well, when you're taking a portrait photograph, you want the, the area of interest uh, within your subject to be, say, the face of the model. And that brings attention to the person who's looking at the photograph. Now, uh, the rest of the background is blurred. And that creates a very nice effect. So you, it draws your eye to the subject and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Whereas if you're taking a landscape uh, photograph, you want all of it to be in focus and you want to be able to see all the detail of the, the photograph that you take. So therefore, in that situation, you would use a higher F number, which means a smaller aperture opening, which means less light coming in, but more of the photograph in focus. Another thing to also consider is uh, the sweet spot. And uh, in most modern lenses, this is between F4 and F8 and basically that, that gives you the maximum sharpness of the picture that you're taking. So you can't really have a defined aperture for every type of photography because depending on what you're taking will depend on what, what aperture you're going you're to have. And on top of that you also have to consider the exposure triangle which we're going to talk about later on in, in these tutorials. Anyway, I hope that uh, I've made things clearer for you guys with uh, trying to explain aperture and um, hopefully you'll view the next uh, videos in the series which will be about the shutter speed and the ISO. Anyway, check you later.